Welcome to this edition of DIY3Dtech.com. In this episode, I kind of want to share this with you guys. So I've been using the Tarantula forever and a day, and uh, it, it's actually been working pretty good. However, one of the pieces that I, I did just the other day was I decided to print ABS on it. So I cranked up, usually I just use the bed at about 60C or something like that, nothing heavy. So I cranked the bed up to like about 110C and I smelled something that wasn't that pleasant and I noticed this right here. So I think as you can see these um, uh, uh, banana connectors, they melted. So I've had these on here again every day, haven't had an issue, I cranked it up for ABS and this is what happened. Now to, to show you this is what I had on the power supply and if you look back a few episodes uh, actually quite a few episodes I, I did a customizer because the power supply is sitting over there and I built this case for it and then I mounted two of these in here and then I used these um, banana connectors to plug in and uh, it, it's basically been operating like this ever since I built it with no issues until I went to print ABS. Now, obviously cranking this up, almost doubling the temperature of it, uh, you know, increased the current substantially and it melted these bad boys. And uh, I was actually foolish, foolish enough to grab one and uh, it actually burned my finger. That's how hot it was. So, um, yeah, that was actually kind of curious that, again, it would draw that much current uh, to melt it. So what I decided to do, because I want to be able to have it so I can plug it and unplug it from the power supply, what I did is, uh, and, and I thought this was maybe a little bit nifty and wanted to share this. So these are XT90 connectors. I use these for building drones and what they're designed to do is transfer a high current DC load. And also these, I'm not sure what plastic these are, but I tell you what, they take a ton of heat. And as you can see, I've got it on the uh, unit back here, and um, you know it's uh, you know so far so good. I haven't I haven't had the problem come back when doing ABS or anything. Now that I switched to this, uh, just for some odd reason, this this simply couldn't take the current and heat, which really surprised me because uh, I, I did these upright, and again, it's been working good for PLA. But I did want to share it, so you know if you guys. Uh, you know run into this or whatever uh, just sort of a heads up to kind of be careful because you know the pieces that's I'm kind of glad I was home when this happened um, because this happened I don't know probably about 20 30 minutes into the print uh, that this started and, and you know luckily I saw it um, the other thing that I do is where I have my 3d printers I have several smoke detectors uh, actually wireless smoke detectors so if it goes off, it's going to set off other ones in the house, too. So from a safety standpoint, uh, big, big necessity in my book anyway. So you can't have enough smoke detectors. Um, but I, I thought this so far, this has worked out good. And I kind of wanted to share this. If you guys are running into the same problems or you want to connect a large DC load, a current load, uh, so far I've had good luck with this on here. So again, hopefully you found this interesting. And again, just sort of a little bit of a safety note. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to swag shop up in the corner and the subscribe button going to be over there. And hey, any questions, hit me up below and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.